Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, in the sales department at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And here behind me, we're gonna have a 2022 Honda CRV EX. I'm gonna walk around this vehicle, show you guys all the cool standard features and functions. So when you arrive at your local Honda dealership, if you take it on the test drive, you know exactly what this has to save you guys time. If you guys have any questions, drop them down below in the comment. For those around me, you know where I'm at if you're in the market. Right here is my cell phone number. I'll show you how easy it is to join the Crazy Honda Chris family at Randy Kill Honda, all right? Now let's go get you all the information you need to make that well-formed decision today. Here we are, right outside the Honda CRV EX. We're gonna walk up here to the Moroni sticker since we find a good spot to hide from the majority of the wind. Let's dive in right now. You guys are welcome to pause the video right there to explain your own. I know there's a little glare going on, so let's kind of dive right in a little closer. Talks about your fuel economy on the top right-hand corner. 27 for the city, 32 for the highway with a combined of 29. Down on the right-hand corner, is gonna talk about your safety ratings. Take a look at that. And then, where the vehicle's made at, the price point, and then the list of standard features, which we're gonna to try to cover today for you. This is the platinum white pearl for this color. I will also put some additional color options down on the bottom left-hand corner. Then also, there's gonna be additional surplus charge for that particular color from American Honda. All right, come stand with two key fobs to use a remote start. Come stand with that, just hit lock. Hold this button down here for a few seconds just to see the lights flash here in a second. It's going to heat and cool the car. Runs at 10 millivolts. The doors will remain locked for you. You have all of your Honda sensing features standard. I'm talking about your lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, and your forward collision with road departure standard. You have a 1.5 four cylinder turbo with the CVT. I'm going to throw a horsepower torque right up there so you guys know what you're playing around with, all right? You got a nice fog lights down below. You got LED daytime running lights. You'll see these little bad boys right here. Then as I hit the lock button, you can see where your turning indicator is going to be at, right there. Got a little bit of chrome action going on the front here, on the front nose. We'll take a little side step over here to those nice 18 inch alloy rims. Take a step back so you guys can see a side profile as we're stepping back towards the wind. You got a little bit of chrome action going around the windows. Rear tinted windows, body colored handles, and a body colored side mirror. This side mirror is going to be heated. We have a turning indicator right here. It's going to be a breakaway mirror. So what I mean by that is get out of here and kind of pull that around. So if you got you know back up into the garage, you can easily fold that right in. We're also going to have the blind spot information system. So we're driving down the road. A car's in your blind spot, right? It's going to light up for you. The only time it talks back is when you have your turning indicator on. While someone's in your blind spot, then it will beep and flash up there for you too. You can customize all your Honda sensing features to around your particular wants, likes, and needs. Okay, so Honda does a very good job with that. Now we also have the smart entry system. So let's say we got the key five here. So I mean your purse, your jacket, your pocket, wherever the case is. It's all locked up, put my hand in the handle, automatically unlocks. You can simply lock it too as well by putting your thumb down on these ridges. I don't have to take the key fob out. Now I know with confidence the car is all locked up. I, or I can simply just enable the walkway auto lock feature. So every time I walk away with the key fob, shut the door right, boom, 10 feet away, all the doors automatically locked. So that's kind of nice. Those days of accidentally, you know, oh, key fob, fell in my pocket. I may have left my jacket in there with the key fob, whatever the case is. I hit the lock button, right? I cannot accidentally lock my keys in the car. The only way you can purchase lock your keys in the car, let's say if I have the second key fob now and I hit the lock button, it registers I'm purposely locking the key in that car. We're gonna have your gas tank right there. Just pull that towards us. You have a capless gas tank, no longer a $2 cap to argue, debate with. It's a simple slide and go. Don't worry about replacing that gas cap ever again. We'll come back here. You got a nice smoked red tail lights. A little bit of chrome action going on. Rear tinted window. Badge of honor for all-wheel drive is also available in a two-wheel drive. If you want to explore that option, it's roughly about a $1,500 price difference. Now... You guys are gonna have a tailgate button right here. So let's say all the doors are locked, right? And then I just wanna unlock this tailgate, just the tailgate itself, that's when this button comes in play. It won't open and close it, but it allows me to unlock just the tailgate. This is gonna be a hydraulic lift gate. I'm gonna throw some cargo volume space up there so you guys know what we're playing around with. So as life happens, you'll be like, challenge accepted, you know you can do this. You got your handles right here. Bring those down nice and flat. 
no hump, living the dream, it's easy to push things, it will pour, uh, pull things out. Excuse me. Got a nice little courtesy lights right over here. Privacy blind, you know, so people who mind their own business, keep your supplies out of the sun. It's gonna be spring loaded so it comes in and out very darn easily. Right down here, you have a spare tire. Insulation just makes it more of a quieter ride for your passengers in the back seat so you don't hear all that road noise. You have your emergency funnel, and then you're also going to have your tools you may need for those unforeseen events. This whole thing is going to be a little adjustable, so there we go. You can fold that down if you need a little more height for any particular reason, or you just want a tray right in here. So, you know, protect that from that point. All right, let's bring these seats right back up, guys. Boom, now you guys know exactly what it looks like with both seats up for you, okay? So, plenty of space for any kind of activities you're gonna be set for success. Let's walk here towards the uh, back seat now. Let's kind of warm up our hands a little bit. Before we dive right in, I'm gonna throw some interior measurements up there so you know how much room you're gonna have for your pets, friends, family, and cargo. All right there, take a moment, take a look at that. Now once we're done looking at that, let's talk about right here as we open up the door. You get a nice little wood trim that's gonna continue throughout the rest of the car. You guys have cloth armrests here. You guys know about power windows, pretty easy. Some additional space down below. We'll dive right in here. You got nice cloth seats. These also recline, additional more if you want to. Just pull that just like that. Now you guys can see the difference from that point. You're gonna have one of these, an armrest right here with some additional cup holders. There's that awesome wood trim again. You're gonna have carpet mats come standard. Adjustable vent, a couple USB, 2.5 fast charge. Then you have a nice little courtesy pocket back here for that, you know, little additional space you may need for the family. We have a third seatbelt right there. Now, before we dive in up front, let's throw some exterior measurements up there so you guys know the exterior measurements of the vehicle. Take a moment, take a look at that. We're gonna open up this now. Right here on the driver's side door. Once again, you got some wood trim going on. You got a cloth armrest. You guys know about power windows. You got your window lock button, just in case anyone's misbehaving. Power locks, your mirror selectors between left and right, then the D-pad to adjust accordingly. Down below, you got some additional cubby space from there. Now over here on the driver's side seat, you're gonna have a power seating on the driver's side. It's gonna be forward, it's back, up, down. You got a little tilt action going on the front half right here. As you see that? recline and then you got your lumbar support right there we already talked about the gas release you got your hood release right here let's do the courtesy kind of point out some common things you might be doing on your own okay all right so here we are we already know it's a 1.5 turbo with a four cylinder right there with the cvt transmission now let's kind of point out some common courtesy stuff wash your fluids gonna be right here you got your coolant Dipstick, so you can check your oil. It's a nice bright orange. We'll step right over here. You got your intake for your turbo. You have your battery connection, brake fluid, and then your fuse box right there. Now, if you guys have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. I'm sure the community would be glad to assist you, or your local Honda dealership would be glad to answer those questions for exactly for more details underneath the hood, all right? So now you guys can see how much room we have in there. If you want to do any kind of customizations, or if you need to get in there to kind of work on anything, now you guys are in the know. All right, now let's jump right back up front. All right, let's dive right up here. Make sure you have the key fob with you guys. It's going to be a push button start, so simply have it with you. It can mean your purse or jacket. Put your foot down on the brake. Hit the start button and watch everything light up, all right? Now right over here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, we got some additional buttons. You got your road departure off. Now it's on. You got your vehicle stability assist, you know, if you ever get stuck in sand, mud, snow, stuff like that, for any particular reason, you can turn that off. Then you got your forward collision right here. I can't think of a reason why to turn that off, but you can. It's available. It's right there. Now your steering wheel adjustment, it's going to be right down here below. Pull that right out towards you. It's going to be a telescope, so it goes in, out, up, and down. So you can definitely have ways to definitely accommodate yourself. Push that right back in once you find the way you want it. Now we're focused right over here on the steering wheel controls. You have all of your Honda sensing features over here on the right hand side. All right, you can see when your Honda sensing is available by green writing. There's no green writing up there at the moment. So all I have to do is hit the main button 
As I select that, boom, there it is, green writing. ACC is your adaptive cruise control, then your lane keep assist systems right there, right? Now to use that stuff, it's pretty nice and easy. It's all over here once again. You got your lane keep assist is this button. As you select that, that's gonna be mostly for highway driving between 45 and 90 miles an hour. We're not going the proper speed as you can tell right now, and we're not finding lines on the road. That's why those dotted lines up there are hollowed out lines. Now, if we were, it'd be filled in white dotted lines. So we know that, hey, it's working, all right? So when you go out of your lane a little bit, it's gonna beep at you. You can turn that beep on or off. Then also brings you back and recenters you. You may turn that on so it just warns you, so you have to bring yourself back, and you can also change the sensitivity on that, all right? Cruise control, you can adjust the speeds for your cruise control from right here. Your adapted cruise, as I'm selecting this, you can see those lines up there changing, right? We're selecting the distance between you and the car in front of you. So more lines means further, less lines mean closer. Like you see a car right here on this button, once it finds a car, it'll throw a car right up there as a visual confirmation. Hey, I found a car. It'll also beep at you. You can turn that beep on and off as it slows you down from, you know, 43 to maybe, I don't know, 40 miles an hour to keep you at that distance. Now, once that car gets out of the way, guess what? You continue back to your cruise control speed. Now, you got your wipers right here, adjustable and mitten. You got your rear wipers right there. Auto lights. Fog lights. Right up here, you got some additional stuff. You got your volume control. You're gonna have the hands free for your phone. You can pick up, hang up, back out of the menu. It's gonna be right up there. We'll see that in one second. Voice command. Let's say someone saved in your phone. Hey, call mom on mobile phone. Now I can catch up with mom, see how everything is going from that point. I'm gonna select right here, kind of play around a little bit in the driver's interface now. I'm gonna be using this button here and using the D-pads and enter to kind of navigate through that, all right? So let's get right in here to take a look. I can see our range, so on our current gas, full tank of gas, we can go 368 miles, it's shown right now. Driver's attention level, for some reason, if I'm not doing a very good job paying attention, the car is going to let me know. Gives me a little score rating. All wheel drive, I can see where all the power is going for each wheel. Maintenance, anything that comes up underneath maintenance, and music. And then your phone options. So if I have any speed dials saved in here, this is where I can find that at. If I want to change my miles to something else, different kind of speed of distance, this is the option right there. Now that's everything from that point. Once again, right over here is your gas tank. You got your trip A, trip B right here. Over here is you got your car temperature. You have your fuel efficiency backlight right up there. So pretty much as a visual coach, as you're driving down the road, you're being fuel efficient. It goes from white to green, then green to white when you're not being fuel efficient. So if you want to level up your fuel efficiency game, that's a nice little visual. You can have your take armor right up top. We can see that we're in park. Your speedometer. Outside temperature is 47 degrees. It feels a lot worse than that with the crazy winds going on right now. Five miles, then the time. So pretty nice and easy to use, kind of navigate from there. Now from here, we're going to come over here to the touch screen. We're going to select home, just to climb it. So we have a nice touch screen here. You're going to audio. Let's kind of check out our music options. We're going to hit source. So you have FM, AM, satellite radio. You get three months of that for free. After that, you have to contact them to continue that page subscription. You have a USB from here, iPod. Bluetooth, Pandora, then your smartphone connection. Your smartphone connection is going to be like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Simply as a plug and play. Um, with Android Auto, you have to allow all the permissions first, and then it's a plug and play from that point. Pretty much take your phone cord, plug it into here. These USBs do illuminate in the dark, so you have to like, where is it at? You can find it pretty much in the dark. It's going to be nice and easy. So it's going to take like your Apple Maps, Google Maps, other compatible apps, music stuff, and displays it right up here, play through the car and charge your device at the same time. Very nice. Now you're gonna notice you don't have a CD player, but that's not a problem. Download your stuff onto a flash drive, then once again, it's a plug and play, okay? Saving you so much clutter, you can have a whole bunch of CDs or books on tape or whatever you wanna call it right there for you. You're gonna have phone right here, Bluetooth for your phone. You can pair up multiple phones. 
settings. You can customize all of your vehicle settings. I'm talking about your Honda Sensing stuff, the display right up here. Check out my tips and tricks video. we will show you a lot of cool stuff and also how to personalize your vehicle settings. Got a couple of videos out there for you guys to further assist you. Now, we're also going to have your information right here. You can customize. You just select that where you want to display right up there. Your Honda Link. And that's pretty much everything right there for the most part. You have your compass. We're facing south right now. Time. You got your temperature. It's going to be, a, oops, dual climate. As you guys can see, the passenger driver. I can sync this stuff. Now I have all the power in the world. You got some little additional buttons right here off to the side. Now, let's say this bugs you for your day or nighttime driving. It's not a problem. Just smack this little star and moon button here a couple times. It adjusts that. And then, it, or it completely turns it off. So it's pretty nice and easy to use. Just kind of hit a random button again, and it's going to come right back on. Now let's come down here to the center console. You've got some additional kind of climate controls. you got your fan speed. You'll see it right up there. Let's click climate. I can do the fan speed, different modes, AC on or off. Pretty nice and responsive. Right down here, you got on and off, air circulation modes, a couple different options, front defroster, rear defroster with heated side mirrors. Then you have your heated seats. Doesn't take long for these to get started. Low, medium, high. Down right over here, you have your idle stop. All right, so let's say um, right now it's on. The car meets a certain criteria. Every time you get to a complete stop, maybe, you know, drive through stop sign, rate, waiting for a train, you know, staying put, it will, shut off the engine until you apply onto the gas. So the whole point of that is so you won't be wasting gas when you're not using it, you know what I mean, or driving. So that's pretty nice. If you don't like that for any particular reason, all you have to do is click that button, hold it down. There it is, a little orange A to let you know it's off. All right. Now I hit it again. You'll see it right up there to let you know. We're just trying to be a little more fuel you know, efficient and a little more uh, fuel emissions awareness going on. We have Econ button. As you select that, you see this nice, beautiful green leaf right up there to let you know Econ is on. As I select that again, it's gone. So Econ mode is going to make you more fuel efficient for your highway driving. It's where it's most effective. You can keep it on for any time. Now, you're going to be sacrificing, keep in mind, on those really hot summer days, you'll be sacrificing um, AC power. All right, so you got to choose. Do you want to be comfortable or do you want to be fuel efficient? I know which one I'm going to pick. Um, electrical power and acceleration power. So keep that in mind, okay? You may see anywhere from two to four more miles to a gallon, depending how aggressive you guys are driving. You can have a whole brake right here. You're gonna have electrical parking brake right there. Simply just pull that right up. Now, to know that's on, you can see it right down there in red. It says brake, once it's gonna focus right in on there, if it will. Now, to simply turn that off, I can't just push the button in or anything like that. I actually have to put my foot down on the brake pedal, and then there we go. So that's like the safety right there, so you can't accidentally turn that off. All right, so you got your park, reverse. As you put it into reverse, your multi-angle rear camera automatically displays right here. You got three different modes. So it's pretty nice and easy. You got a nice wide view, a right behind you view, a straight down shot from your rear bumper view. Now as you turn your wheel, guess what? That turns to as well to kind of guide you. Colors change on that too to let you know the tires are not in line. So there we go. This is on and off here for your cross traffic mounting system. So let's say we're in reverse and it's on right now. Car's coming from the side. It's going to beep at me to alert me and point out what direction that car's coming from. So I like to keep that on all times. Give me an extra pair of eyes on the road. We'll come right down here again. You guys know about neutral drive. You have a sport drive. Sport's going to change up your gear ratio a little bit for more fun performance driving. You have a low gear drive for the steep hills, mountains, stuff like that. We already talked about the USBs, how they illuminate in the dark. Down here, you have a nice tray area, deep tray, cup holders, armrests right here. Let's fold this right back up. You got a nice little tray if I want to, or I can fold it in and there's no tray. And I have all this cargo space or, you know, space I want to use for whatever, maybe snacks. We're going to have a 12 volt plug in right down below. Let's take a moment, look at the dashboard. You got your hazard lights right over here. Adjustable vents. Let's kind of point those out for you guys. I got one right over here for the driver. You got a nice little black trim, a little bit of wood trim going on. Glove box, deep enough challenge. Accept it, throw it in there. You're going to forget about it. It goes in a whole different universe. You got your standard mirror. You have a one-touch power moonroof. Just kind of push that back. Opens, closed, tilts. Everything like a power moonroof should be doing. 
We're gonna have this here, simply turn on or off, you know, your lights, dome lights right up here. So I have it in the center. So if I open up a door, and there we go, pops right off. Place for the sunglasses, little conversation mirror. Keep an eye on those three kids back there. I'm watching you three. 